Hey everyone, John Tharp coming to you from Iowa. Today's March 5th, out doing some shed antler hunting and scouting for the upcoming 2022 deer season. I'm gonna do some, some prep work with some Lucky Buck uh, product. Bernie Berenger is uh, expected to draw his 2022 coveted Iowa archery tag. So uh, I'm gonna begin doing some prep work in expectation that, that Bernie's gonna be hunting here this fall and maybe utilizing some of this setup and uh, bringing that to you uh, later on in the, the year. It's always exciting when I get a shipment of Huntworth clothing. And this is a new Huntworth heat boost, which is some really exciting stuff. It's graphene technology. I'm gonna tell you more about that in a minute. But in the meantime, I'm getting ready to leave on two of my really exciting hunts that I've been looking forward to for a long time. I haven't drawn Iowa, an Iowa archery deer tag since 2017. And I haven't hunted in Kansas um, archery during the rut since 2019. So I'm pretty excited about both of these this year. I'm going to be down there for the first two weeks of November and uh, I'm going to be rut hunting with a bow in some of the premier whitetail habitat in the world, I think in both Iowa and Kansas. And if you followed this channel for very long, you know that I'm a public land, do-it-yourself hunter. Most of my life I've done that, 30-some public land road trips but this year is going to be different because um, I got a couple friends that are allowing me to hunt private land and my buddy John uh, is a deputy sheriff down in southeast Iowa he is in a really really good area and uh, his family has some good ground and I've got a couple of cell cameras down there right now I've also sent him a couple of other cameras and we are getting some pictures of some tremendous bucks. Uh, there's a lot of shooter bucks that we're seeing on camera and a couple of real giants as you can see by these pictures that I'm showing you right now. I mean it would just be a dream to have a chance at one of these. It's of course a long shot for deer like that but they're there and uh, so I'll be hunting for about a week or so in Iowa and I'll be doing a vlog, uh, multiple videos on that. Um, then from there I go to Kansas. I'll uh, be hunting private land there too. So I'll tell you more about that when I start the Kansas vlog. But uh, I'll be camping in my trailer, which I'm going to park on John's property. And all I got to do is plug it into water and electric. And uh, I'll just take a minute to give you a quick tour of that camper. I bought this camper about four years ago at a salvage auction. And I've taken it on a few hunts before. And believe it or not, uh, this camper was totaled because it had hail damage. And I mean, you really have to look for it. I don't know if you can see it or not, but this one side has quite a few little hail dents. And that is uh, why I bought it at this salvage auction for about half of what it's worth today. But uh, let's go through and uh, we'll give you a quick tour of the inside. Of course, like any camper, it's fully self-contained. And it's just a small camper that my wife and I use for vacations out west. Uh, we've been to Glacier National Park and Yellowstone and Tetons and a lot of different places with it. Um, as you can see, I gotta put everything in the sink when we travel because uh, uh, otherwise it'll all be on the floor. And I'm um, just here getting it ready to go but it's, it's comfortable and roomy especially for one person and uh, i do most of my own cooking i really prefer to cook myself because uh i just don't like fast food first of all and restaurants just get pretty darn expensive and and really add up so um just basic everything you need here shower and uh, fully self-contained all I gotta do is hook it up to water and electric and we're good to go 
and I can uh, I can use 12 volt power and uh, and the water tank that I have if I need to but as you can see I'm pretty well stocked up here getting ready to leave and uh, this will be a comfortable home for me for a couple of weeks so that's about how this is going to work uh, I've been packing my truck with uh, tree stands and decoys and uh, that type of thing all the stuff that I typically take with me on these rut hunts and uh, it's always really exciting but uh, I, I should give you a little more information on this heat boost technology that uh, is something new from Huntworth and they have uh, um, here's a really nice coat they got a layering system and, and man this is pretty exciting opening all this stuff up with this heat boost in it uh, well this is a vest look at that So the heat boost technology is different than anything else because it's it's graphene that's actually in the insulation. And Huntworth is cool because they've got all these different, it's a layering system that you just add to or take off depending on what the uh, weather's like and you know if it cools off whether you're in the stand or you know you you've got things that you want to pull on once you get to the stand and so forth it's all just super really well thought out I love the camo um, I love the way the pieces fit they're pretty generous cut and uh, but the graphene is actually in the insulation so it doesn't add another layer to the bulk of the clothing and the clothing is quiet it resists um, burrs and stickers and things like that and uh, it's just uh, it, it's really good stuff and I'm going to be giving it a test here. They're sending me all this stuff to test and comment on. Oh, here's another one of these pants. I love these pants. I, I like wear these pants all the time. Um, th those don't have the graphene in it, but they're actually the pants I'm wearing right now. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to be doing the uh, a vlog here. You know, try to try to get a vlog out every two to three days. Um, if I can't get internet regularly while I'm there, you know, then I'll have to do more towards the end. Okay, here's the parka. So if you want really high quality hunting clothing that won't break the bank because it's definitely better than the top end camels like Sitka and Kiyu, Kuyu or however you say it that just cost a ton and then this heat boost technology with the graphene uh, it's just brand new and believe me you're going to be hearing a lot more about it because it is amazing stuff and just what little testing I've done on it they sent me some last year in the winter um, before they actually introduced it to test it and I tested it out um, in really cold weather and was super impressed with it so I can I'm really really jacked up about trying some of this new stuff yeah I mean they, they think of everything this is you got a pocket right there you got a nice you got a you got one. Oh, that's that's going to be really warm. It's going to have a great place for hand warmers too. So, anyway, that's that's it for this first uh, vlog, and uh, more stuff coming. As you can see, there's I got trail camera pictures of a lot of good bucks, and I can't wait to get down there and start hunting. So, we'll see you on the next video.